Alright, let's do this. What's up everyone? Empowered Qs here bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are actually going against the Graves in the top lane. I can't remember the last time I did that, so this will be kind of interesting. Get behind a minion wave. Ooh, that hurts. So he's going to try and lifesteal it up. He's got uh, ooh, minion block. Gotta wait till my E is up. So, uh, if you don't know much about Graves, is he fires twice and has to reload. So, kind of our goal here is to play around that, which I think will be much easier once we hit level two. Because we can jump on him and engage. So, I think this is gonna be a painful for a second, but after that, I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, because we can kind of keep doing that. So, but right, we'll see. I think I might maybe rush a, uh, a frozen mallet here to stick on him a little bit more. Um, the big thing, too, is we can kind of stick behind the minion waves here, and that'll negate a lot of the damage. All right, I'm going to hold on with my abilities. Nice, good job. So I held on to my E so I could uh, use that grace as soon as the Twitch opened up to negate any kind of escape ability. So that puts us in a great spot too. So our awareness of the jungler let us set that up pretty easily. It's on. Nice, still got it. So push us in back. Yeah, I think Frozen Mallet's gonna be pretty decent. I mean, the phase for the movement speed is gonna be great too. So, I mean, we got plenty of options here, and we're going to have a lot of sticking power against him, but... I'm just going to back. See you later. Probably just TP back. Because Grave Graves is going to push that pretty hardcore. He's going to prevent my back. Yep. Um, so, I'm probably going to grab a Doran's Blade here to give me some more fighting power. So I'm gonna go Doran's Blade. That's perfect. I get a long sword here. Just TP back. Nice, perfect. So we want to push this hard because Graves is roaming. Ready for battle. Or we could just hold it and deny him. Yeah, he's headed back, so we'll just hold. Last hit here. It's on. When he comes up, I could try and deny him the. Let's back it up. Save my E for next interaction when I jump on him. Bring it on. Got a nice little reset there. And don't forget, he doesn't have flash, so as soon as we get him a little bit lower, we could probably kill him. Don't forget you can do that too. Your W also empowers your next uh, jump attack. So you don't necessarily have to use it as an auto reset. Obviously you get more damage off that way, but if I don't know if I'm gonna get both attacks off, you can just kind of plop them both together. I honestly thought I might be going against Galio or Zaktop. Or else I, uh, you can definitely make the argument that I might not necessarily need Conqueror for lane, but Wait, wait, wait. That's not good. Once again, get my Conqueror up. Got it. Nice. Remember, he didn't have Flash earlier, so I knew, uh... I went, waited for his reload mechanic and his dash. Engage with the jump. Perfect. Perfect! Yeah, easy for me to get out of. Just get out of here. Mm, cool. Galio's going back. He teleported last time, so I can uh, come back and push this wave. Then I can back. Because I want to make sure this resets properly. There we go. 
And if you ever want to know where the wave is going to hit, all you have to do is look at your own wave. So I saw my wave was right here. Um, so I knew it was going to hit tower before. I'm going to go for my Trinity first. Uh, don't make the mistake of buying the Sapphire Crystal first if you can't get the full Sheen. It's kind of tempting because sometimes you want the Sheen, which would probably be better in this matchup anyways um, for the quick proc damage, but uh, Dagger is going to be much more useful than it, than a Sapphire Crystal. I could have definitely made the argument too for Boots here to keep up with the Graves now that I think about it, but either way, we are super far ahead, pretty even in uh, Minion Wave. Potion here. I want to take too much damage. Okay. Bring it on. Damn, I thought I could get that one. Alright, once again, save Delia. Nice. And as soon as he makes that next shot. Man, I thought I had him. He definitely has to back now. Don't forget that the W uh, charges and gives you a little... I, I thought it gave you a little extra range. I hope it does. <laughs> also, I'm just going to look like an idiot right here. <laughs> but pretty easy to force him out of lane. And this is kind of how... I mean, Graves is an easier range matchup than most. And that's why he's not really meta right now, to be honest. Um, but this is kind of like the rough super aggressive type play you really want to do against a range matchup you got to get them to respect your damage or else they're going to harass you the whole time uh, i know someone had asked me to show a video on how to fight against like Vayne and lucian and these guys need uh, um they need supports for a reason and that's because their early game is typically pretty weak with the obvious exceptions so you got to be really smart with your engage and that's how you win those matchups. Man, good old Graves Top. That brings back some memories. What was that, Season 5, I think? Uh, might be a play over here at Dragon, so I wouldn't want to push this wave in. I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Nope, that's fine. Push us and we could dive. Don't get too greedy, because if he stays, we'll just dive. Make sure there's... Yeah, Galio's probably coming. Back it up. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I live! I'm out. I'm out. Speed me up, Johnny! Oh my god, that Twitch saved my freaking life. Good job, team. Good save. Got out some flashes. Get my stinger. TP back top. I want to hard push this in because that way he's going to miss minions or he's going to stick around, which is beneficial to me because he was super low. Uh, this is definitely one I'm max maxing Q, by the way. The jump. Definitely want the lower cooldown on that over the uh, dodge mechanic. Graves kind of ammo system automatically gives us a good opportunity to use our E. So, 
got a quick second, so I'm going to go ahead and get the Rift Scuttler right here. Secure myself some um, vision. Nice, I can get the uh, plant right here. Head back top. What's he got? Okay, he's probably going. Uh, uh, I thought he already used that. Lame. Okay, use my potions here. Start charging up my attack speed. Oh god. Whoo, baby! Yikes. Man, if I had a little bit more lifesteal, I think I'd be okay. I'd consider Flash Eam, but it's just not worth giving him the shutdown gold. Damn, this sucks. We'll go that way. I don't... I mean, the Ninja Tabby would be great against the Grave since I'm laning against him, but... Uh, snare, 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 lots of magic damage, magic damage, magic damage. Um, I think the... Damn, I don't think he's gonna get first tower, is he? He might. Might have to flash for it. Damn, what a bitch! What a bitch! Damn. That sucks. Oh well, that's fine. Push for this tower. I always do that. Misjudge how much damage the um, the E is actually gonna do. Damn, we were close on that too. That sucks. Oh well, that's fine. Push this wave in. Let's back up. Graves teleport. That's fine. Go get some vision. I'm gonna get one of my favorite wards, by the way, which is right over here. SRO showed me this one. Spots out boop, spots out blue buff and gromp. Uh, so it's good for seeing where the jungler is, especially jungler like Zach, who's gonna use this spot to jump. Alright, we just saw uh, Zach over here, so. I'm gonna play it a little bit more cautiously. Okay, I see that blue buff is up. Yeah, I think Frozen Mallet's gonna be really good against uh, Grave, so that's definitely gonna be my second item. He's dead. <laughs> so, notice how I saved my E like that and walked up to him at first, and then when he decided to. I don't have any mana. Got it. Nice. Nice. Cool. We could get this. Good job by my team. Nice follow up. I did not even see the galley, the uh, Zach show up. That's too funny. Oh god. Just power through it, I think. Yeah. He doesn't have Jin, so. Nice, so we can get this tower here. Nice. That should be enough for my Trinity Force. Like I said, I'm going to go Frozen Mallet next. It's going to help me a lot by sticking on top of the Graves. I mean, if you wanted to do something like Hextech or... Um, what's it called? Uh, Hextech Gunblade or Blade of the Ruined King. You could do that too. Uh, I just don't think it's going to be necessary. I think the, the Frozen Mallet is going to give me the extra tankiness I want anyways. Um, so... Then I'm probably going to go, after Frozen Mallet, I could go Sterix Rage Blade. I might get a, you know, I could always get a Gunblade after that. That might not be a bad idea. Go that way. Go Frozen Mallet, Gunblade. We'll see. 
couple different options for you. Um, though, I am very tempted to go the uh, Titanic route for the wave clear. That's going to be really nice against Graves, because he has a lot of wave clear. Do I need a TP? I think they're okay. Yeah. Uh, Dragon's up in 115, so we can get this Rift Scuttler right here. Cool. Looks like Twitch has it. Graves is up top, so they can rotate up top. I can pressure bottom. Another way to actively stay ahead is steal some jungle camps when you can and get some deep vision. I like to blow up the plants, too. That's helpful. So that way... A wild Vagar has appeared! <laughs> Twitch can finish this. I can kind of... Did I kill me? Oh, that sucks. Man, I was debated. I'll take it. I'll take it. Nice. Yeah, I needed to get on the gin first. I thought we could take all that damage. I didn't expect both Galio and Zach to show up. So that was very poorly played by me, but that's cool. Got a lot of pressure up top. This Graves does nothing. Whew! So, gonna finish my Frozen Mallet here. And like I said, that's gonna give me a lot of sticking power too. Jin gets a lot of movement speed too. Um,. So like I said, I feel like it's really going to help against all the people that I might come up across. The only one that it might not be necessary for is, you know, Zack and Galio, but Let me add meh. I can push up top. Do they need me? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm in. Let's take the whack on the Zack. Pull back up. Good stuff. Head back top. I think they could get that dragon without me. Steal this gromp on my way. And then there'll be a nice big juicy wave up there. So, a little bit more on the Graves matchup is... So something to think about if you want to apply this to other range matchups, it's cooldown for cooldown what you can do versus theirs so for example my goal is to trade my jump with his dash so the frozen mallet's kind of the trade-off on how i can stick on top of them um so quinn it's her kick if i could get her to kick me before i use my e and jump i can jump on top of her and use my my e to get some damage in so that's that's kind of the way to think about it Join up with my team here. Let's back up. Alright. So no alt Zach. Get out of there. Push! Good job, Twitch. Well, reset the gold on Graves. <laughs> nice. Get back. They can take that just fine. And then I can get my Frozen Mallet. And I think I'm at least going to get the Tiamat. It's good for auto attack reset anyways. And then I can decide later what I want to do with it. So, yeah, that's going to give me a, a nice amount of sticking power. I've actually seen Korean players go... Uh, What's it called? Um, geez, what's the frozen uh, keystone called? Glacial Augment against range matchups. So, kind of interested to try that. Maybe I'll try and make a video on it. I was like, come on, man. Nice. 
Nice. So, uh, in a split push... See? Now oh, he won't get away either. Pop my potions. I told you'd be good against, uh, Graves. <laughs> <laughs> you see how that happens? So I just jump on top of him now, and I can always hit him with my E, because even if he dashes away, he's not fast enough. Very simple kill. Uh, no, but what I was trying to say with the split push is you always want to drag the enemy away from the objective. So I, no matter what, I'm very confident that I'm not dying there. So I, even if I don't kill them and survive... That gives them the opportunity to run right to Baron. So by going on the opposite side of the next objective, I'm pulling at least one to two people away from me. So I pull Zack and Graves here. My team's free to run up and grab the Baron or get a kill or a different objective or whatever, really. There's a multitude of different things that they can do. I sell this. I'm going to wait the 50 gold. What if I do it this way? Is this worth more? Yeah, I'll sell that. I want to get out back onto the uh, map with Baron faster. Cool. Um, so if you if you look at the map, then by bringing people to the bottom, we could take something up top. If Dragon was the next objective, which it is in two minutes, uh, once we reset, I'm going to want to head to top lane to bring more people up top, so my team can take take objectives on the bottom side of the map. That wasn't good. That'll be all right. Oh, want to get this on the right key. I'm going to go uh, Rage Blade after, maybe, or Sterics. Rage or Sterics? I might go Rage Blade just because I have the Frozen Mallet, so I'm going to quickly apply all those, and I'll be able to auto-attack a lot. That feels so good. Oh, God. Speed me up, Johnny! That's fine. Not fine. Perfect. Nice. Nice follow up by the Kate. GG. Thank God for the zillion. That was a whole lot of CC. Whoo. Damn. Can we end? No, I don't think we can end. Back, I could get my uh, Titanic Hydra. I'm going to get the Sterics next. That's going to help me a lot against the burst. That's going to put me at... Oh my god, look how much health I have. So I can head top. I have teleport. I have 3,500 freaking health. I'm never dying. Um, So Lucian, his dash. Vayne, her tumble if she doesn't hit you. So if Vayne tumbles and doesn't auto attack something... It doesn't reset, so if she doesn't get the auto attack off, it's actually the same thing with like Fiora um, when she does her her um what's it called her lunge attack. Got it, nice infernal Drake. So I'm gonna keep pressure on top right here. Yup. So, the thing that you have to be very, very careful of in this split push, though, is being very aware of where the enemies are. So, I see Graves and all three of them down here. Um, so, I don't want to push anymore because my team's all backed up here. Um, and since we have nice vision control, I know that they're all in the base. So, if I push too far close up to tower, I'm just going to die. Actually, too, at this point, I mean, I don't know how much of a split push is really necessary. They got two inhibitors down, so we can just kind of walk up here. And they don't have a good amount of wave clear. Well, Galio can wave clear, but... I just... That was weird. Back it up. Just get my ult.
Nice, just let myself die there. Good stuff. I knew I was tanking tower, so I was gonna go off the zillion alt. Well, that'll do it, boys. <sighs> yeah, so there's a, a nice little matchup with a rage matchup for you. Honestly, a lot of the times they are harder. Uh, but Graves is just not a great champion to do top lane right now, especially against the Jax. Um, I think the hardest range matchup is probably Teemo. He's one of the few range matchups that, no matter how late the game goes, I really feel like he can still smash you in a 1v1 if you're not careful. Can I give it to the Twitch? Oh, qualified for my Plat 3 promos. That is what's up. Got a nice little S+. Plus. Let's check the damage charts here. Woo! Good stuff. So I didn't explain my runes at the beginning, so here they are right here. Uh, like I've stated before, standard uh, four runes that I normally go. Uh, bone plating is going to help me against Graves' three kind of shot burst, his hit, dash, hit. So that prevented a lot of that damage, and the Chrysalis gives you that 75 extra health. Excuse me. Until you have four kills. So I figured that would be beneficial to uh, survive the lane phase a little bit better until I was farther ahead. I do think there's the argument that you could go sorcery because you get a little bit of movement speed off that one tree I normally take, uh, as well as the scorch damage. But, uh, you know, it's been a while since I've landed against a grave, so I decided to go a little bit more defensively. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Really, really helps me out. I definitely appreciate it. I do Twitch stream my games now, so if you want to come and hang out for that, definitely check the info for that. Uh, unfortunately, my schedule is a little sporadic, but I try to stream anywhere from like 1 to 5-ish, so early afternoon uh, Eastern Standard Times. Well, once again, appreciate it a lot, everyone. Tune in next time. Peace.